All right, this is an incredible story about an incredible guy. Here goes. In Kansas invented a radio wave John machine Kansas. as a cure for cancer. Gonna get in here. And then he tried it out on his own cancer. So you're doing it well, this minute? we're talking, yeah. We followed his story for over a year and into the laboratory. There. Okay, perfect. Where there's already excitement about killing cancer cells. And then you put them in John's radio wave machine. Exactly right. And 100% kill. 100% kill. All right, now, in addition to that, he found this. Okay, in the interim of developing the thing to try to cure cancer, he came across this. Killing cancer cells is amazing, but John had also stumbled on yet another amazing breakthrough. You have enough in there? His machine could actually burn salt water. All right, now when they say burn salt water, they're not really burning it. What they are doing is creating electricity. They're, they're literally shooting electrical discharge into the air. Kansas discovered that his radio frequency generator could release the oxygen and hydrogen from salt water and create an incredibly intense flame. Just like that. If that was inside a car cylinder, you could see the amount of fire that would be in the cylinder. I can put my hand in here. Put your hand into the beam, nothing happens. Put in a fluorescent bulb and it lights up immediately. At the APV Company Laboratory in Akron, top engineers have checked out John's amazing invention and they were amazed. And we saw it go up to 1500 degrees centigrade, the temperature. And that, that's, it's incredible. This simple Stirling engine is running with the heat generated by the flames coming off that test tube. The fuel, nothing more than salt water. Well, that could be a steam engine, uh, a steam turbine. Could be a car engine if you wanted it to be. That's the true American innovator. Someone that is not looking for something, he just finds it. This That's like Rod Warren, just accidentally invented the Venturi accelerator crusher for particles. This is uh, the most abundant uh, element uh, in the world, water. And salt water is everywhere. Uh, and to see it burn uh, actually gives me chills. So All right, when he says see it burn, I had seen this demonstrated where they had in the center a, um, a tissue paper, and it didn't burn. It was electricity, and you could see it as electricity. Imagine the possibilities. Salt water as the ultimate clean fuel. A happy byproduct. You see it sparking here and there? For cure for cancer. Now, what that is, what he's done, is he's taken the particles that are in orbit around the nucleuses, and he has just got a certain frequency, like when they do this pow and then the champagne glasses go flying apart well he knows the exact frequency with his little dials and his the, you know because you could stretch these waves make them shorter make them longer he got it just right where he can get the particular for for oxygen and hydrogen he has to get it right for that bond and I, um i got something hold on hold on here is right this is, again, this is, this is the molecule, uh, or this is actually an atom, and that's the core of an atom, is all positives and negatives. It's not just positive, and they, they're made out of the same thing that these are made of. That's the electron flow theory. Now, here is what water is made of, and he is shaking this water so unbelievably, because this is a polar, it's a positive and negative, just like a little bar magnet in there. And he's making them flip, 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 flip until he shakes these hydrogens, the electrons, right out of them. And then they go into air. They just get absorbed into the air as, as, as well, like electric discharge, just like lightning going through the air, just like static going through the air, like electricity going through the air. It is highly charged particle and that's all it is is heat so that's what happens and that is from the interaction in this vibration it's almost like a tesla coil right that's all i can say about it